Action headquarters, you want a tight race? Here's one, Wisconsin. Wow. This was not expected to be like this, uh, looking at the early numbers, but look at this. You have Tony Evers up. No, now Scott Walker is nope, up 300. 300. 14. 6-7, 14, carry the knot. Yes, Scott Walker <laughs> up 314 votes. He is fighting for his political life as the incumbent governor. He is, he's faced three elections. Remember, he faced the original election, then he had a recall election, and now this election. And he was pretty much, you know, considered dead yeah. for a long time uh, by a lot of experts. And now Scott Walker is up 314 votes. Uh, I'm going to get to the panel in a second, but I want to check in with Matt Finn. He's in Waukesha at the Walker headquarters. Matt, what's the word? Hundreds of supporters in this packed house in a uh, suburb of Milwaukee where Governor Walker does well. And earlier in the night, the mood here seemed to calm down as the returns show Governor Walker trailing. But now, as you just pointed out, this race is neck and neck with Walker and Evers at about 1.1 million votes each. Uh, Governor Scott Walker in the fight of his political life, seeking a rare third term here in Wisconsin. And you know, heading into tonight, Governor Walker's told me here on the ground that he could considered this the tightest race of his this life and as we know he ran for uh, president in 2016 and he's now seeking a third term here but he says he considered this the tightest race and you know there were many polls to suggest just that that Evers and Walker were in a dead heat and right now uh, as we inch closer towards midnight people here are not going home they are cheering every time the numbers come up and show Governor Walker with a slight lead and then they go a little quiet as Evers pulls ahead so we will continue to keep our eye on this race which is just in a dead heat right now Brett. All right, Matt Finn in Waukesha right now uh, Walker up 2,000 